Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to easily paint these leaves and make it look like real watercolor. It will be super easy and quick, so let's get started! As usual, I'll be using my Sublime watercolor pack, and you can use any canvas or paper texture as this is just about learning which brushes to use and how to use them. You don't really need a sketch for this, but I do have a sketch that you can download and you can find that below and insert it like this. As you can see, the sketch layer is here and we're just going to have to bring down the opacity a little bit. And let's make a new layer so that we can start to color. For the majority of this tutorial, I'll be using this bold rough brush and you will be able to download this color palette as well. Um, it's really not ideal to film a tutorial with an iPhone I'm so sorry about this guys. Anyways, I have just colored in that leaf using the bold rough brush. It's best to do it in one stroke but I did not so I'm just blending it out now with the basic blender and I'm just coloring the rest of the leaf with the same brush. Next, I'll be using the Tinted Wet Blender brush, and this is kind of like a blender but with color. Let's use this light mint here, and just to show you guys, that's how it looks like. And you can use this brush to fill in the middle portion of the leaf, and I find that adding different types of strokes and colors really makes the piece look realistic and not so flat. As you can see, I'm adding in different colors to make that transition from dark green to light green more seamless and natural. This is like creating a color gradient. I'll show you how I paint this leaf here, but I'll be using the exact same steps as before. First, paint the leaf using the bold rough brush. Then, you choose a related color that is either light or dark. It's best to choose a color that is in the same family so that it blends in pretty well. Now, we use the Tinted Wet Blender to fill in the middle portion of the leaf. Remember to use a variety of colors. Now we're going to paint the branch, so let's select that brown right there and get the bold rough brush. And the trick is to use loose strokes for thinner parts and to put pressure for thicker parts of the branch. As we know, branches do not have the same thickness from start to finish, so you can put more pressure on the apple pencil to achieve more of a natural look. At this point, I'm going to add a new layer and make that a clipping mask. And I'm going to choose a light brown. Let's get a stamp brush and enhance the branch by adding different colors and patterns. I'm using bloom number one and tapping it in some places so that the branch is not just all one color. Mm -hmm. 
and you can definitely add these stamps to the leaves as well. It can really elevate your artwork when used correctly. This leaf doesn't look quite right because the transition from light green to dark green is too obvious, so in that case, you can use the basic blender to soften it like this. At this point, you can be done, but I'll just add one more step and it's kind of optional. Let's make a new layer and choose a very dark brown and we'll use the random splatter stamp. You just loosely go over your painting like this as if you've splattered onto your painting using a wet brush or like an ink and if you don't like this, you can always turn the layer off. I guess I like it when it's on, so I'll just leave it on. So that was pretty easy, right? I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Again, I'm very sorry about the iPhone camera acting strange in the very beginning. I will try to get a new camera soon and film better tutorials for you guys. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you in the next one.